This is a piece of uh, perforated aluminum uh, that I bought to make this, and it's just kind of to add uh, a vent around it to let the heat out. Uh, it kind of gives it a retro kind of look. And it's made out of aluminum, it's pretty thin, and I'm thinking I can probably cut it with a utility knife. I'm going to give it a try here. Alright. Alright, so I'm joining this together in the back with a piece of just a regular aluminum. I could have used another strip of this, which in retrospect uh, would have been easier because I've had to wind up punching these holes. And I don't know if you can see right here, but I did this one and then I did this one. And then as I'm running this up, I realized I'm on a different row. So anyway, that's just the way it's going to be. But uh, I, uh, I was punching the holes with my punch here. Well, you can only get to here. So the metal ones, um, I'm using, I got an eighth inch uh, punch here. And I can just put it in there like that on a soft piece of wood. Give it a good whack and just like a paper puncher it punches out a little disc and leaves me the hole that I need. Alright and there we go. Unfortunately I got these two off to the side. But it'll be in the back and I think it'll look fine. All right, so I want to put a dial on here um, where I can sort of, in an analog kind of way, set uh, the voltage. So here's our pointer. So what I've got to do is just mark it and then figure out how many degrees around it goes, and then I can spread those numbers out uh, when I make this on the computer. All right, so that tells us... Uh, this part out here would be 360 minus 24 and that will tell us how many degrees we need to spread those numbers over. Then we'll get that drawn up on the computer and print it out. This is the aluminum disc uh, for the dial that goes on the top and I've got it bolted in here and I'm just getting the edge of it cleaned up and then I need to also get it cut to size. So the first thing I'm going to do is just bring this in and find the center and then pull out so I'll know my diameter. I got our disc, I've got it sanded and a couple of holes put in it. Uh, I need some way to screw it down to here. So I'm just going to transfer these centers to the plate. All right, I'm going to use some shellac uh, to uh, stick this down. This is our printed out dial. This was designed in Inkscape. And we're going to just stick that down uh, with the shellac and then give it several coats. So I wound up wiping off the shellac that I put over the top because I just couldn't get it on there even enough. I really needed something I could spray. Um, but I'm pretty happy really with the way it looks. You know, it looks kind of vintage. So I'm going to just uh, spray some uh, polyurethane on there to seal it. <laughs> 